heading on out to the greenhouse to shut her down for the night. We got to show you all the DWC system I have for my tomatoes. It's not finished yet, but <clears throat> just slapped it together tonight. I'm gonna buy some lids and redo the lids and get bigger net pots in there. Still the little guy. So I got an air line going to each one from that guy. It's a four port air pump and there's a little simple one you can get at Walmart. 10 bucks. Uh, I think that one only costs 20 bucks or so, I'm not sure. And then there's got an airline going down into each one. Balls are kind of dirty. These big blue balls. Circulate the water a little better. So that was just to recirculate the water. Just looped it back to kill the end of the line to give me a little bit more to drain it if I want. And here we go, 90. Coming out of the end bucket, going to a T. It's a half inch line. That is, and the feed line is. Of course, those are 3 sixteenths line or something like that. And that's pretty much it. They're all tied in, so if you need to raise the water a little bit, just top off that one. And we'll level out with the rest of them. Top off this one, same thing. This is my main pump with the uh, water level indicator there. You can tell it is, but it's right there. But the piece that holds it up I can also drain right there if I need to. Just pull it down. I just got the five gallon bucket paint strainers down on there in my pump to keep all the stuff from getting in the lines and clogging up those, those small lines coming out of there for the feeds. So that's a 210 gallon per hour pump. Uh, and then I also got two those blue ball aeration balls in there. And that's pretty much it. And I'll make a similar cloning style bucket, but I don't have that up just yet. That's what this was, but now I'm just using that as a deep water culture aerating all the buckets with air and air stone and then recirculating the water by pumping it from this guy to all of these guys the water just recirculates back down there and it's pretty much it could put plants in there if you wanted to but then you got to worry about the roots growing down and getting all around the pond we just decided not to we got four other buckets here, with, which, you know, when I redo these lids, it'll just be a big one down in the center, um, six inch or something like that. We can have one around here somewhere. Six 
Jesus. get that or just the cheap net pots and okay, it's just more stable it's a solid solid, um, solid net pot lid all in one so the net pot doesn't really move around and you can secure that on the edge and it's going to tip over as easily when we get big and heavy um, uh, which you should have them supported anyways but there it is um, if you have any questions or comments please subscribe and comment and make sure I'll be doing more videos I build and so the more professional looking systems which are all black with the black lids um, except it's this style of lid and then a five bucket system um, which around 150 which you can use this bucket to grow in also if you want to instead of just four buckets that I'm planning on using or a single bucket system will sell everything pumps, air line, water line, and all that. Um, a gauge tube for 50 bucks. And if you need it shipped, of course, shipping's extra. But if you can do local pickup or you can deliver, of course, delivering is also an extra charge. But um, I basically have these small net cups. Almost to the water there. I can't really tell. The water isn't actually touching the bottom of the net cut. It's just got an aeration going. The bubbles flowing and popping everywhere under there. Just keeping everything moisturized. These guys should start going. I actually had these guys inside for a little bit. I haven't really been taking care of them. So we're just out here as testers for now. Um, there's the pump I'm using. I mean you can probably get away with something smaller and just use that because that's what I had. I turned it from Lowe's actually the last one. Uh, but you'll, you'll find out if you're new to this that pumps are a constant thing. Um, yeah the last one broke took it back to Lowe's and they had no problem exchanging it very new as long as they had the same model which I think this is a model um, except this is a 210 gallon per hour smart pond pump for ponds that are 3 foot by 6 foot up to 400 gallon ponds of course, we're using this for hydro systems. Well, like I said, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.